Okay guys, welcome back. Dr. H here. Today we're talking timers. I'm going to show you how to put a timer in your game in Unity. Now if you're one of my students, you're going to need to download a script called Time Control from the SharePoint and drag it into Unity. If you're not one of my students, don't worry. I've got the code that you need to type at the end of this video. So this time control script here will create a timer in the game. You can tweak the timer, put as long as you want on there. And when the time is up, obviously something has to happen. So it will restart the game if you push P to play again. So here's how we're going to do it. The first thing we need to do is go over into the hierarchy here, right click, and create something in UI, user interface. We're going to create a canvas. A canvas is essentially part of the heads up display that will appear on the screen no matter where the player is. So I'm going to keep the canvas in screen space overlay so that whatever I put on that canvas, whatever I put on that heads up display will appear in front of the objects in my game. The next thing I'm going to do over in the hierarchy with the canvas clicked, not anything else, the canvas, I'm going to right click, go back down to UI, and I'm going to create some text. This is going to be very important if I want the, the timer to display on screen. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my canvas here, and I'm going to drag this time control script on to my canvas. Let's have a quick look at it. You'll see down here I've got three boxes. I've got the timer text, I've got the time left in seconds, and I've got the game name. I've put this box in here so no matter what your game is called, you can just type it in the box and it will restart your level without you having to go in and use the code. So the first thing we need to do is if we're going to have this appear on the screen, just zoom into this a little bit here so we can see what we're doing. You can see there is my text. That's what it will look like on my screen at the moment, roughly. First thing we're going to need to do is actually assign some text to it. I'm back over here for Canvas. I just drag, sorry, click on Canvas here. I drag that, don't click on it, drag it down into this text box down here. Now it's got some text and it will display. I can push play to test this. And there's my text appearing in front of my coin. It's quite small, so let's see if we can do something about that. I'm going to click on my text and I've got a whole bunch of options in the inspector over here. Drag this down. Maybe I'm going to center align it and put it in the middle. And I'm probably going to change the size maybe to, I don't know, 25. Let's test it and see what that looks like. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice size. Now I've done that. If I go to my game view here, I can see where the text is. I've just clicked on the game tab. I can start moving it further up the screen by changing the Y position. If I make it maybe 50, goes up to there, make it 150, goes up to there, sits at the top of my screen. That's a nice size, 150 on my text. And now when I play, I've got the timer high up in my screen. I might want to put it higher. For now, I'm going to leave it there because this is just a quick tutorial to test whether it works. If I click back on my canvas now and come back down to time control script, you'll see the time left in seconds is three. When I push play, I have three seconds. Maybe I'm going to want 30 seconds. Change it to 30, push play. And now I've got a 30 second countdown to find all of my coins before my time is up. Come back out of play mode. The final thing we're going to need to do, I'm just going to put it back to three seconds for this. The final thing we're going to need to do, when it counts down to zero, a message pops up on the screen that says, game over, press P to play again. If I push P, at the moment, it won't work. It skips out. It says, I've got a bad scene. I've got, I've got a problem here. It doesn't know what it's trying to load. There are two things you need to do in order to fix this. The first one is go down to the game name here and type in the title of your save level. You can see it at the top of the screen here after the 64-bit, before Unity. This is my level. My level is H. So all I need to type is H. Type it exactly as it appears there, capitals where the capitals appear, and everything else. So there's one final thing that we need to do in order to get this to work. I need to go up into the build settings, which can be found up here in File, Build Settings. As soon as I do, it will say Scenes in Build. All I do is I drag the scene that I want into the build settings. I don't need to click anything else at all. I can then click off that. And as soon as I do, it now knows that when I push P, it's going to reload this level. Push P, 
and it reloads. Sometimes it reloads it slightly darker. Don't worry about that. It won't do it in the final export build of your game. Thank you very much for listening. I've been Dr. H, and as promised, here is the code for those of you who aren't lucky enough to be in my class. <laughs>